And always remember this, girl. Whoever you cheat on with, remember, make sure he has more money. Make sure he's a way more valuable guy than the one you have. Because we're always upgrading. This is this is this is the world today. Wow. So I work at a phone store and someone called because their wife cheating. Yes, sir, I'm here. Uh, yes, sir. So any of the calls that were made to the phone and are in the history log means that either that phone has called them or that number has called the phone. No possible way they can automatically appear, right? No, sir. There's no way for the number to just automatically appear. Exactly. So people can't be spoofing on your phone. I looked it up online and Googled it and seen where it can happen. Um, they could spoof your phone, but it wouldn't show in your, in your call, call history. Log. That's not how the spoofing would work. You're a liar. somebody else's number and called my phone, then it would show up in my call history. It shows you calling a number. No, it's not what the red arrow means. I'm sorry. No, it's not. Or you calling the number. No, that's not what it means on my phone. She just got called, that's all, buddy. I appreciate no, it. No, I didn't. Yes, sir, no problem. Understand that they will lie, lie, lie once they get caught. And when there's smoke, there will be fire. Never let cheating go, gentlemen, because once their mind is gone, you could never get it back. He cheated, so I threw his mom's ashes in the river. What? I get sprayed. I, I get sprayed. I, I, I get No. This can't be real. No way she would record herself doing this. Woman arrested for throwing her boyfriend's mother's ashes in a lake. Save your tears, you animal. Jesus. According to bleh, a 40 year old Fort Worth woman was arrested Wednesday on suspicion of abusing a corpse nearly two years after she was accused of throwing an urn containing her then boyfriend's mother's ashes into Lake Worth, according to police report. Oh, yeah. Now you want to cry, huh? Because you got discovered. Meanwhile, you taped it. You would have gotten away with it, you dirty little mongrel. But you're the one who taped it. What? A class A misdemeanor that carries a maximum penalty of a year in prison and a fine of up to $4,000, according to police report. A man told police that on June 3rd, 2020, he and a woman were dating, but the two weren't on good terms, according to the report. Holy moly, there is nothing like a woman scorned. I simply cannot believe the audacity of some of these people that's in the world. Just the idea that you all can so nonchalantly disrespect the dead like this like what other culture does shit like this it's it's some really sick crazy and deplorable shit but here's what's crazy modern women today are experts at telling on themselves they simply cannot help it it's like the dopamine drip of the validation of posting shit online is more valuable to them than the prospect of ending up in jail. Guys, let's talk it in girls and first impressions. Now, when you walk up to a woman and you're trying to get her number, what's the first thing that she's going to recognize? Now, let me ask you guys, do you have a quality skincare routine to maximize what it is that they see? My secret to not only looking youthful at 37 years old, but also to enhancing my confidence is today's sponsor, Teach Handley. Fellas, listen to me, invest into your skin. Stop using normal soap on your face. Every grown man should have a quality skincare routine and Tiege Hanley is that quality. I recommend that you start with the level one system which comes with all the basics, a daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer with SPF 20 and a PM moisturizer. And Tiege Hanley has made it super simple by giving you an instruction card in every box that tells you when to use each product, how much to use, and in what order. Skincare wasn't always something that I took seriously, but now that I invest into my skin, it gives me the confidence to pull young baddies. And you don't even have to just take my word for it because they have 5,000 five-star reviews from satisfied customers all around the globe. And because Tease Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my subscribers a special deal. Just click the first link in the description and receive 30% off your first box, plus a free gift. Seriously, that's an amazing deal. Click that link down below and get started right now.
Wife caught cheating by her stalker husband. That's what we doing, my man. Where you going? That's what we doing? Huh? Oh, you stuck. You stuck now. Huh? You think I'm stupid, huh? You think I'm stupid? My, my, my man sorry. said, I'm out. Talk I ain't rubbing no toes no more. Oh, so you can't. You mute now. Now you done turn to a mute. Let the whole world see you. Uh, yeah, there wow. You go. Caught. What's up? Talk to me. What's this? What's this? Oh, you can't talk? You can't talk now? Really? Wow. You Caught. can't talk. So he, he didn't abandon you. You can't oh, talk. Oh, he's gone already. Huh? Huh? Now nah, my man, come get back on them toes. Getting out. No, you getting out, huh? So you about to pull so you at work though. You at work though? Is that what you care about? Work though? Work? This what you're doing at work? So, so if I'm at work, you got how did you know? Toes, you got the toes in water. This what you're doing at work? If I'm at work, huh? how did you know? Oh, man, I was what, what you want to work Come back over here. Come back over here. She she's asking that because she's obviously been doing this for a while, right? But apparently he caught on. What's so crazy about this is that it says caught by stalker husband. Why is he being labeled a stalker? Because he found his girl or his his wife living La Vida Loca by the poolside, getting her toes rubbed on by some strange man. That makes him a stalker. Excuse me. So why are you not at work? Huh? Are you recording me? Five years. You're recording. Five years. Good, good idea. Wow. Remember this ring you got me? Five years. Remember that ring? Five years though. This what we doing? Then, this what we doing? Is this this what we doing though? Is this, this what we doing? Why? That's your, that's your people, huh? That's your man, huh? This, oh, it's your new dude. This is the sideline. That's what the sideline is. This your, this, your, this your bonus man, huh? I think the title of this should change to wife caught by concerned husband. But she has no respect in her tone. Clearly, she does not fear repercussions. And truth be told, I don't even know why he's continuing to have a conversation with her in that particular manner. It should be over, my G. If you take her back, you are absolutely bugging. And what I fear is, is that he will. How do I know this? Because he's engaging in a conversation, trying to pester and jab at her. That's not how a man works from a masculine position, who has masculine presence, that has full control of his relationship. You see the deed being committed and you cut your losses. And last thing I want to say is all you dudes that mess with married women, I get it. She's for the streets and you just taking the opportunity to introduce her back into the streets. But at the same time, if this was actually a stalker husband and not a concerned husband, but if this actually was a stalker, then your life would be in danger. Some of them will pull out that tool and get to clapping. It was actually a rapper named Trouble that just recently succumbed to this exact same situation. And is your life worth the insides of a woman? I don't think so. I avoid these married thoughts like the plague. I ain't got no time for no drama in my life. I'm building too much. There's too much value over here. Let's go to the next one. When a high value man cheats on you. So if you're not having sex with him or you stop having sex with him, he's going to go out and go cheat. And that's when you can use male nature against him. Huh? So when he comes back to the house, don't start yelling at him, cussing him out, bringing it up because he's not going to picture himself with you for the next six months. He does not need to put up with that. If he's already having other options, he will leave you. So not just that, but now he knows you're insecure and that your whole world revolves around him and you have nothing else going on. So what I suggest is you make up a plan in your head like, OK, I'm going to leave him in three months. But during these three months, I'm going to take as much money as I can from him and cheat at the same time. Do, do not tell him you're cheating. Whatever you're doing, don't tell him you're cheating. But it will help you sleep better at night knowing, damn, I'm also cheating on this guy and getting paid from him. That's so just real quick if i had a tiktok account <laughs> this is still live on, on tiktok if i had a tiktok account and i was trying to teach young men how to pump and dump women like straight up just fact like this is how you do a guy's step one step two step three and then after all of that you toss them to the side of the road so that's the ams you know how quickly my tiktok account will be taken out but this Lovely young lady <laughs> uploads videos instructing women how to be a high value man's side piece or side chick. And if he cheats on you, here's how you out toxic his toxic. This is this is this is the world today. Wow. When you do walk away, you're walking away as a cheating ass bitch. Yes. With 20K cash. Oh. So now you have the upper hand and always remember <laughs> this girl, whoever you cheat on with, remember, make sure he has more money. Make sure he's a way more valuable guy than the one you have. Cause we're always upgrading. 
So remember, if he cheats on you, the only difference is that you're getting paid and you're cheating on him with a better guy and you end up leaving with the bankroll. This ain't hypergamy, this is whole pergamy. I guess this young lady specializes in teaching young women how to be hoes while also upgrading within their life. So instead of living the decent life where you try to improve yourself and find the best man for whatever it is that you bring to the proverbial table, you use your looks, your femininity, to get over on men with money. This is what's happening in these modern times. Shit, I was having a conversation with my boy the other day who just found out that he's having twin girls. <laughs> and when he found out, he kind of looked at me and I looked at him, I said, shit, man, this is some, <laughs> some weird times to raise young women nowadays because they have influencers like her going around and have the freedomness of <laughs> whatever social media platform that they are on that teaches toxicity, you know? And this is also why too, I live a particularly minimalistic lifestyle. I don't flash cash. I don't leave with my wallet because I know that there's women piranha just like her. But truth be told, I ain't mad at this chick at all. Why? Because she's giving y'all the game. Shit. I think she should have more male followers than women. But yeah, this is the game. Women can say what they want, do what they want on the internet. They can sell pixelated versions of their viscous innards for a comparable salary and give step-by-step -step instructions on how to steal money from men. But hey, we hate women over here, right? <laughs> but hey, the patriarchy is still alive and well, right? Oh yeah, sure. I really don't even know where to leave this video here today, but you know, hopefully you guys enjoyed yourself. <laughs> but leave me a comment down below. Make sure you guys are putting the timestamps in there so I know exactly which portion of the video that you are talking about, all right? but. Questions, comments, concerns, y'all already know what to do. Me over to Turtles Reviews at gmail.com. Last but not least, guys, got a fantastic Patreon. Link to it down in the description box down below if you want to beep up and have conversations with myself as well as those involved in my inner circle via Discord server. All right, we chat about all a bunch of dope things up there, all right? So I'd love to see you soon. Until next time, YouTube. Peace!